Hi, I'm Dinny, owner of Dinny Collins Fitness and Swords, and over the next five days, I'm going to teach you to find your motivation so you start taking action and move towards your goals. Motivation and action builds momentum, and it's from this momentum we get more motivation and we take more action. It's a snowball effect, and beginning or actually getting started can be the most difficult part, but I'm here to help you. I want you to firstly be aware that you cannot wait for motivation. You will waste huge chunks of your life if you do. You must create it for yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I want you to make creating motivation such a habit. It's like clicking onto Facebook or brushing your teeth. It's just some small habit that you do every single day. Motivation is like a muscle. You need to train it consistently or you begin to lose it. Motivation helps you endure short-term pain, like going to the gym, to experience long-term pleasure, like looking and feeling great because you go to the gym. We do not need to fulfill our dreams and goals before we feel happy. Rather, we feel happy once we are making progress towards them. This means happiness is a lot closer than you may think. My saying is, give me a week and I'll have you feeling great, and give me a month and I'll have you looking great. I want you to get excited about your life and all its possibilities once you learn the steps of motivation. I want you to realize that you are not stuck but hold the ultimate power to change your circumstances once you learn how. I would love you to stop waiting for something outside of yourself to motivate you and decide to create the motivation within. I went from breaking my back and facing a lifetime of pain and disability to completing Ironman triathlons, from living in a mobile home to owning my own amazing house, from driving a 20 year old rusty Nissan Micra to drive my dream car, a BMW M3. And I give you these examples, not to show off, but to show you what's possible with some motivation and momentum. Time will pass either way. So you can count the days just existing, waiting and wasting, or you can make every amazing day count in some small way. Over 1 million lives end every week, but your life is happening right now. And if you're not entirely happy with it, please stop waiting and choose to do something now. Today, I want you to realize you want to feel better, you can. You want to lose weight, you can. You want to be more toned, confident, happier, healthier, have more energy, fit your clothes better, you can. But you must take ownership for your future and allow yourself to believe it's possible for you. So in this very first video, I'd like to make a deal with you right now. The reason people have no motivation or fail to build any momentum is they don't follow through what they start. Our world is so busy, it's constantly shouting for our attention, showing or selling us things which we think will make us happier. So we get so distracted, it can be hard to commit and follow through as we're constantly being pulled towards the next distraction or the next amazing solution. However, this is putting outside stuff on an inside problem and only changing from within will actually change how you feel long term. So I'd love you to make a commitment to yourself that you will follow through on my five day motivation series. If you follow through on this series, I promise you by video five, you'll be taking action and on the road to a happier body and life. So let's make a deal that you will follow through on this one small task and watch all five of my videos in this series. You see, having discipline to follow through on a small challenge seeps into your whole life and helps you have more discipline throughout your whole day. So let's start small today. All I'm looking for is a commitment for you to schedule five minutes for the next five days. That's it. Are you in? Deal. <laughs> okay, so let's put some help in place. Once this video ends, I want you to set a daily reminder in your phone to give me five minutes of your time for the next five days. So you're gonna open the calendar, hold your finger over the time that'll suit you to give me five, type Dinny into the event, click repeat, click alert, um, and click add event. Now we're booked in, deadly. Now, before our last task today, one of the lessons I'd love to convey is to take what you love from my series and let go what you don't. Sometimes we throw out the whole lot because something does not align with us. Every single thing I say may not agree with you, and that's fine. When I learned to take what I liked from working with people and let go of what I didn't, I found I could learn so much more in my life. Our ego is always trying to find a reason to get us to quit and return back to our comfort zone of unhappiness. So it pulls us away from an opportunity 
to make progress if it disagrees with one small thing. Being aware of this will help you find more value in everything you do. Okay, to finish today, let's try a quick visualization exercise. Again, this is optional, but I personally credit much of my success, motivation, and happiness to learning subtle meditation techniques. So if you're not ready for another three minutes of meditation, that's okay. I'm grateful for your attention to this point, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. If you are up for another three minutes, awesome. Here we go. Sit comfortably and close your eyes. Feel your feet on the floor and bring your attention to your feet and the contact they're making with the floor. Move your attention to your bum on the seat and just notice the contact you're making with the chair for a moment. Next, bring your attention to your breath and simply follow it in and out, breathing through your nose if you can. Think of one of your goals. It can be a specific weight, a certain outfit, or feeling a particular way. Whatever yours is, bring it to mind. Now, imagine it's exactly one year from today and you've achieved this goal. Whatever it was for you, you've done it. And don't limit yourself. As the saying goes, if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. So let go of the I can'ts for a moment and just imagine. Live in this future for a moment as if it's already happened and answer these questions for me in your thoughts. How do you look? Picture yourself. How does your face look? Is it happy? What is your posture like? What are you wearing? And how do you feel? What are some of the things you do or events you go to now? How has it affected your career if you have one? How has this new you helped all your relationships? What compliments are people saying to you? Okay, this is a nice experience and it's so possible for you. Now let it go and feel gratitude for one person or thing that's great in your life right now. Feel the gratitude. Why are you grateful? List a couple of reasons. Smile, let it go, bring your focus to feeling your bum on the seat again, and when you're ready, open your eyes. Well done, you just meditated. Go enjoy your day, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and helping you find better direction and move towards this future you. Dinny out. <laughs>